If you're short and you want to dunk, you will understand exactly how after this video. All right, bro. So what's different about short people? <laughs> Why can't short people dunk? Right? It's the obvious. You have to get up off the ground higher than one of these tall dudes right here. Like Isaiah Thomas. He's, what is he, 6'1"? I don't even know what he is, but he's not 6'8". So it's obviously really easy for 6'8 people to dunk. But the thing is, is that most people aren't 6'8". Most basketball players might be 6'5". But when it comes to dunking, that's not the question. We're not talking about basketball players. We're talking about can you dunk. And anyone can dunk, including short people, which is why this whole video is short people dunking. And they can dunk not only in the NBA, but in college and high school. And even if they're not a basketball player, they can dunk if they're short. So in saying that, I hope you understand my point in that anybody can dunk. It doesn't matter how tall you are. It doesn't matter how short you are. It doesn't matter what you are. You can dunk. But how? And that's the point of this video. So let's say you're short. Maybe you're not, but let's say you are for the rest of this video. You're short. This is what I would tell you to do. You are going to have to jump higher than most people. But how do you do that? Well, the same way as anybody else, right? A 6'8 person can barely dunk because they don't have any bounce. Or you can be like LeBron and you're 6'8, but you still have as much bounce as a short person. So basically height has nothing to do with it. It's dunking, right? So it's about bounce. How high can you jump? So if you're short and you want to get bouncy, you do the same things as the tall guys who want to get bouncy. It's nothing different, bro. It's, it's so mental because you think you're short, you think something's different. It's no different for Katie than it is for Terry Rozier. It's all the same. They get bouncy. How do you get bouncy? People have been trying to do this for years. There's no secret, bro. It's simple. You will dunk and you can dunk. It's only a matter of time if you're willing to start putting in the work and take action and do something. So what would I tell you to do? It's easy to say, oh, just get explosive. Just get bouncy like everybody else. Yeah, of course. But what do you really do? So let's say you're a young kid, a young athlete. Oh my gosh. So if you're, for this case, we'll go ahead and say 15 or younger. So if you're 15 or younger and you want to get more athletic, the best thing you can possibly do, since we understand now that it's not about height, the best thing you can do is plyometrics. So not weights, not strength training, plyometrics, which, mean, which means training yourself to jump really quick and to jump as high as you can. And you're basically doing this without weights. It's just body weight. So whether that's pogo jumps, like you're doing a jump rope, except you're exploding as hard as you can. Or depth jumps where you're, you're jumping off a box at whatever height. And as soon as you hit the ground, you explode up. Those are plyometrics. So if you're 15 or younger, that's what you want to focus on. But when you turn 15 and as you get 15, 16, 17 and older, you may need to do something more than plyometrics. You may need to do strength training. So after you've done plyometrics for a while, and by the way, let me not forget this. One of the best plyometrics you can ever do is max effort jumps, practicing jumping like this, whether there's people there or not. It can be on a court by yourself, trying to touch the rim, trying to touch the backboard, trying to touch higher than you touched before. It can be with people in game, trying to get up as high as you can. That's crazy, that's Chris Paul. Or it can be on a court by yourself on a low rim. It can be anything. It, bro, eliminate what people say. Eliminate what other people do. Worry about your own journey. I promise you the issue is your mind. If someone is judging you for dunking on a low rim, then I promise you they judge me too. But I guarantee you that person can judge me all they want. When I'm doing crazy dunks, now that I'm 23 and grown, and I've been doing crazy dunks since I was 17, what can they say to me? Can they judge me? Oh no, they judge me. Someone who's never done anything says the stuff I'm doing doesn't work. Oh no, I'm just a random. I can dunk, bro. I did my dream. I achieved my dream. I can dunk right now. I can do behind the back dunk. I can do windmills. I can do crazy stuff. And why do I tell you that? Because you can do that. Because I'm a random nobody on the internet. And we're all random nobodies. But we all can dunk. So once again, you can just practice jumping like this, bro. Just practicing jumping and dunking is a great plyometric. But eventually, whether it's dunking like this or doing pogo jumps, like I said, you're going to need to just get stronger. So we're going to just go ahead and watch a little more of these just because I'm, I'm not quite finished yet. So when you're 15 or 16 and you notice plyometrics are starting to not giving you quite as many results, what you want to do, bro, is get stronger. You have to get stronger at some point. It's more power to put in the ground to get up. You just have to get stronger. Plyometrics might get you more twitchy, more quick, more explosive, but you need that strength explosiveness. And you're not getting that unless you pick up some weights. Why? Because 
the way you get stronger is by breaking down your body. And the only way to break down your body at that level is to pick up heavier things than your body is used to carrying. So once again, bro, that's the, that's the crazy part about this. It's simple. I just explained to you dunking if you're short. Like, that's it, bro. Yes, jump technique is something you need to work on. That's why you practice max effort jumps when you do plyometrics. That's why you work on dunking on low rims. Your jump technique will get better the more you do it. It's just as simple as that, bro. It just comes with practice. So jump technique and jump training and jump mindset. If you have those three, you can dunk. Jump mindset, being willing to fail, being willing to try. Jump training, plyometrics, strength training, max effort jumping. Jump technique, it just gets better as you get better. And one tip is recording yourself and so that you can make your jump technique better. But if you have those three things, bro, jump technique, jump training, and jump mindset, as I just told you, you can dunk no matter what height you are. So go ahead and share and save this video if it was helpful for you. Hit that like button, and bro, if you subscribe, I'm posting videos every single day about dunking. Go look for yourself. I post it every single day for over two weeks straight, and it, I'm doing it for over a year. So if you wanna get better at dunking, you know what to do, bro. But genuinely, the main point of why I'm doing this, bro, is because I want everybody in the world to know that they can dunk. It, it doesn't matter what you are, but I don't, I don't, I know who I'm talking to right now. I know there's short people who I'm talking to right now and tall people. There's unathletic and athletic. There's bad genetics and good genetics. None of that matters, bro. You can do all this. Believe in yourself. I'll see y'all tomorrow.